Y'all, this is so good. Please don't pay me no mind to my bonnet. I was literally in bed about to take it down, but I had to read my word before I went to sleep. And it was a word that I heard another young lady um, reading and she was explaining and I just went back to it just to get, you know, clarity and context. But listen, baby, whatever you waiting on, whatever you got coming to you, whatever it is, God already picked you. Please hear me when I say this. God has already picked you. I feel it in my spirit. So I'm coming from 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7 to 12. No, to 13. And I'm sorry this might sound long with it, but baby, in order for you to catch this word, you're going to have to listen to what God is saying in his word. So it says, but the Lord said to Samuel, do not look at his appearance or at his physical stature because I have refused him for the Lord does not see as man sees for man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Pause. I don't care what candidate you think that is better fit for whatever you're waiting for. I don't care what candidate that you see that looks more qualified than you. God don't care about none of that. It may look good. It may smell good. But God looks into here. And God looks in what's in the heart. And as you can see right here, I'm going to say it again, but the Lord looks at the heart. So don't get distracted by what you see on the outside because it does not matter. God has already picked you. I'm going to keep on going. So Jesse called, and I cannot say this name, so please forgive me, a ben, a ben dad, and made him pass before Samuel. And he said, neither has the Lord chosen this one. Then Jesse made Shemaiah pass by. And he said, neither has the Lord chosen this one. Thus Jesse made seven of his sons pass before Samuel. And Samuel said to Jesse, the Lord has not chosen these. And Samuel said to, the, to Jesse, are all the young men here? Pause. Every last candidate that just went by, that just went, God has passed by on all of them. God has passed by on all of them. Every last candidate that was in the same realm, in the same area as you for this, God has already passed them by. Mm-mm. Get them out of here. You don't want them. I'm going to keep going, and I pray that you're catching this. Are all the young men here? Then he said, there remains yet the youngest, and there he is keeping sheep. Mm, 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 mm. And Samuel said to Jesse, send and bring him, for we will not sit down till he comes here so he sent and brought him in now he was ruddy with bright eyes and good looking and the lord said arise anoint him for this is the one then samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers and the spirit of the lord came upon david from that day forward so Samuel arose and went to Ramah. 
Yo, when I say I can run around in this room right now, I can run around in this room. <laughs> Lord, please help me bring this on. <laughs> Yo, when I tell you God has already picked you, God has already picked you. Just continue to keep preparing for what he has picked you for. It don't matter what everything else looks like. What matters is he done already called you. He done already spoke your name. Baby, please just walk in it because he already picked you and I'm gonna say it louder for the people in the back there remains yet the youngest and there he is keeping the sheep and Samuel said to Jesse send and bring him for we will not sit down till he comes here so he sent and brought him in now he was ruddy with bright eyes and good looking and the Lord said arise Anoint him, for this is the one. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel arose and went to Ramah. Baby, call your family and tell them the good news. Baby, thank God in advance and start shouting because it's already done. I love y'all. Be blessed and have a good night.